As we all know, concerning about this COVID-19 situation, things have gotten pretty much out of hand over here. So, the world is going to be taken more and more by the Antichrist. That is undoubtable. The Antichrist system, he has to take over. As he takes over this world, you got to realize that he can't just take it over without some more restrictions involved. There has to be more restrictions involved in order to control more things throughout our world. Now, one of the things that we've seen is one of the key things, I believe that this has been a very brilliant move, and it's been a key thing, is when you talk about safety. Now, when you turn to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, if you turn to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, that is the excuse that the world will use in order for the Antichrist to take over the world. In 1 Thessalonians 5, it's for the sake of peace and it's for the sake of safety. Remember when they've tried to disarm more of the military's might and weaponry and arms, actually when they drafted those things, it was because of world peace. That was the claim. And then with COVID-19 situation, it was because of safety. So one of the most brilliant things in order to deliver the mark of the beast is situation similar to COVID-19. <clears throat> I, I am not saying that COVID-19 is the one that will usher in the Antichrist kingdom or six exist. I'm not saying that, but it is definitely one of the steps one of the steps and foundations laid out where they can start to bring up more pandemic situations. So we don't know what they might be. But my concern and worry is this, is that because of a lot of the doctors crying out about mental, economic, and even health, physical health dangers that arise because of the restrictions where there's this social distancing, lockdown, and even masks, because of that, my concern is that's what uh, they're deliberately doing is opening up Pandora's box for future pandemics. Now, remember that um, Fauci mentioned that there will be another uh, there will be another pandemic situation, another second rise of it. I mentioned to you in other videos where the black pope, <clears throat> the Jesuit general, he mentioned that he does not believe things will go back to normal. He believes that if we don't change now, then uh, the next one will be worse. Bill Gates also mentioned that uh, there will be another rising situation. So you see over here is that this is getting really bad, where there's going to be future pandemic situations. So because in the future this must happen, This will be the key right here. This is the crux and the key that is mainly used to spread about the world, the whole world. So let's see a couple issues over here. So if future health problems, so not just COVID-19, this is one problem they're focusing on. If what the doctors say is true that future issues might arise, economic problem, mental problem, physical health problems, and by the way, they will arise. You might say, why? Because of Revelation 6. Revelation 6 says that famine will spread and disease, death will spread all over, pestilence. And an economic crisis will happen as well as famine. So there will be future outbreaks. So that's my concern is that because of these restrictions that we're going by, that there will be future pandemic situations that can open the door. Now for people who obviously might think that I'm far out there or crazy, <clears throat> that a lot of the stuff is just conspiratorial, let me repeat again that these are not just one or two quacks, these are doctors these are people who graduated from Stanford and I believe MIT. And I'm going to, what I'm going to do is this. I cannot give you every doctor statement. But me, I'm not, a, I'm not a stupid researcher. Okay, when I attended grad school and I had to read 30 books within like a summer course while pastoring a church, 
at Berkeley. Amen. I'm not a dummy when I do quick research. I have to do shortcuts. Amen. So when I do research, Amen. I'm going to, I research. So here are two sites that I'm going to give to you. And these are purely from doctors and scholars. Some of them are not, but most of them are. One channel is called Unheard. Unheard. U-N-H-E-R-D. Unheard. Epidemiologists, these are the people that you want to look at who concentrate about populations, on what's going on with populations. So Unheard specifically concentrated on these people. And these are their expert opinions on that right topic, that branch, concerning this pandemic situation, this lockdown. These will include, a, uh, a lot of these professors will not just be, a majority is of that branch. Other ones will be virologists and different branches of scientific scholars. Uh, Sunetra Gupta. The other one is Carol Sikora. The other one is Natalie Dean. The, uh, the other one is Michael Levitt. The other one is, let's see over here, uh, Johan Jacecki, and et cetera, et cetera. So there are so many scholars that they uh, list up over here. And actually, I can't go through all of their expert opinions, but just look them all up over there. And that inc uh, fails to include all the other doctors that I mentioned to you before, right, in my previous videos. So these are expert medical scientific scholars. Other people, uh, authoritative figures, this one is Stanford University's Hoover Institution channel. Look at that one. Stanford, uh, Stanford University, Hoover Institution channel. Look at specifically that one. And one of the famous uh, Stanford doctors actually came out and disagreed with how we're doing the lockdown. Jay Bhattacharya, I think that's his, how you pronounce his last name. But look at all these people. They mention about all their reactions and their responses concerning COVID-19. But this guy from Stanford disagreed with how we're doing these lockdown measures. And a lot of these doctors argue that it can actually bring more future uh, problems and health concerns. But guess what? That's what has to happen. Why? Revelation chapter 6. Why? For the sake of peace and safety. Yeah. Focusing on one thing and then ignoring the worldwide perspective problem. So a lot of these uh, people that they have who would be speaking uh, in Stanford, they have here a video channel. Uh, they have the videos that include in their channel uh, Elizabeth concerning uh, the Elizabeth economy, COVID-19, and China on Hoover virtual policy briefing. Lan He Chen on COVID-19 and the politics of the WHO. The other one is... Um, uh, Black Swans, Dragon Kings, and Gray Rhinos with Neil Ferguson. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. They have another one, the Taiwan model, freedom as a compass for technology. They have another one here by Timothy Garton Ash, Europe, China, and the world after COVID-19. They have here how innovation works with Matt Ridley. They also have here COVID-19 and schools with Eric Hanushek and Margaret Raymond, Vice President Chen Qian, uh, Taiwan, and the COVID-19 situation, how COVID-19 is changing Washington's view of China by Josh Rogan, and obviously Dr. Jay Bhattacharya, and he's actually researching. Uh, we also have here John Yu on COVID-19 and federalism, and a lot, lot more, a lot, lot more. But I would highly uh, uh, recommend looking up these videos, and actually what they're gonna do, these two channels, they're gonna show both sides. So Unheard would obviously show more of the perspective of their disagreements with this one, but they actually had, um, if I recall, Neil Ferguson, the one uh, whose expert opinion that a lot of people went by for the lockdown. So Neil Ferguson, he's the guy that promotes the lockdown situation that we're currently having. So Unheard even had him over. So this is, uh, look at these channels, look at these videos, and then you'll see from these expert opinions that this is not just something that's conspiratorial or amateur speaking out or quacks. These guys are actually people who probably have higher degrees than you do Amen. before you whine and say that this is something conspiratorial. So that's something that you got to think about. Use critical thinking here. Now, I emphasize critical thinking because the reason why is, is that I'm not saying that critical thinking is only applied 
to what you hear from mainstream news sources and mainstream schools. I'm even including toward the other side, the other side who disagrees, uh, including the conspiracy theorists. So the danger is you can't just, now this is something very important you to understand with this COVID-19 situation. You can't just pick one side or the other because everyone's going by their opinion. And when everyone's giving their opinion, trust me, the people who are against the lockdown, they disagree with each other on the specifics on how it goes. So you've got to realize that you have to use critical thinking and open-mindedness, which supposedly you're supposed to be taught at higher education school, but uh, no, just uh, believe whatever WHO, uh -huh. CDC says. Just believe what they say. No, use critical thinking and open-mindedness, and yes, that includes uh, things that would be what you would deem conspiratorial. You might say, why? Because there's already so many articles going out going out against this particular lady, which we already know, Mikovits. <laughs> so obviously, I mentioned to you, I highly recommended uh, all of you to watch uh, the movie Plandemic from her, and you notice what happened. <laughs> it was just cut down, it was banned, it was shut off. So you can't find it from Adam anywhere, actually. So the DVD, actually, there were so many articles that spoke out against her. One of the things that was uh, most troubling was that when she was, uh, she mentioned that there were actually no official charges, but then people like Snopes, as you might know, has the reputation of tracking down conspiratorial stuff or anything that's Christian related. Yeah. So Snopes and all the other guys and even the scientists, they had to speak out. You know why? Because one day they clicked up to five million. So because of that, YouTube had to take drastic measures and said this was banned. That happened with the two Bakersfield doctors, too, that I mentioned to you before. So with those two uh, Bakersfield doctors, uh, I believe the name is Matt Erickson and the other one, the, uh, it was like hitting five million. And what's so funny is that YouTube deemed it to violate community guidelines when it's not even their video, it's not even their channel. It was in the liberal news media channel, unfiltered, uncut question and answer and that violated community guidelines uh -huh. Uh -huh. funny funny man <laughs> funny so that's why here's something you got to realize is that with judy mikovitz one you can't just be critical to her side you also have to be critical with the websites that you're researching about here you know why they have the power to filter and give you the material against her too so that's why, uh, what do I mean by critical mindedness and open mindedness? You have to apply these principles on both, can I repeat that again? Both sides, Amen. both sides. Especially people who have the power to control information, you especially <clears throat> can't believe them real easily. Right. You have to be very careful with that. You have to be very careful with that. So then one of the troubling things about her was concerning about the official, there weren't any official charges, she would say. But then they claim that there were official charges that you can uh, bring up and they would show up some certain sources and that she, uh, that she was actually, there was some kind of weird thing where the judge was about to go against her, but then it seemed like that he was bribed off and that's why she got away with it. So that's one of the most troubling things. Another one is that the guy who was responsible for the documentary believes in New Age principle. But that's actually, uh, but... Here are some easy explanations to that for me. One of them is that um, a lot of the conspiratorial guys, they do believe in New Age stuff. Yeah. Alex Jones believes in New Age stuff too. Yeah, yeah. I know that may have hurt your feelings, but that's actually true. He believes in some kind of weird New Age stuff. Yeah. So that's why you have to use critical thinking. Well, why would you recommend hers anyway? Because I'm not going to believe the other side either. Amen. Mainstream. I want to see all sides. Amen, and actually, here's the thing. If you look, dig up information about her, you're going to see information that debunk her. So that's not really fair. Now, me, because I'm an avid researcher, uh, I was able actually to find her side of the argument. But guess what? Google, even, uh, what's that, Duck, go, go or something like that, even the, any side out there, they're not going to show that side. Wow. So you have to be very specific in research. Now, you can't fool me, stupid Google, Facebook, Twitter, <laughs> all right? I got a brain, okay? So there's this website called LondonReal.tv. 
LondonReal.tv. The title of the article, which they didn't even give her the fair shot, because hackers tried to hack inside, actually, and ruin her. See, this is not fair. The title of the article is Dr. Judy Mikovits responding to criticism surrounding my viral documentary, The Pandemic, May 18th, 2020. Isn't that something that you want to watch to hear the other side? Now, this is actually really good because the guy who's in charge of this site actually will give you her slides for free. So, she, uh, so this shows me something here. When I watched it, and I saw the way she answered. She was answering very specifically. She was asked on the spot. When she was asked on the spot and how she answered specifically, and she gave her information very freely, it showed me something over here compared to mainstream news that, look, unlike mainstream news who wants to pick information for you to see yeah. and would hide their stuff, she at least was willing to lay it all out there so that you can critique her. So that's the reason why that I don't really buy the opposite side either. Now, do I buy her side completely? No, there's still some fuzzy questions after I watched it, but I'm glad I watched it because it made me not believe the other side completely either. She brought up articles, documentation from science magazines about what happened. Now, the only thing that I have to say, so she mentions about her stands about what she meant by she was not for vaccines. And then these stupid mainstream guys mentioned, no, she... Uh, uh, She's actually against vaccines. When Mikovits in the documentary, she actually mentioned, no, I, I think vaccines are a good thing. So then, see, this is like, we have to hear her side of the argument too. That way we can get a full story. So just hear her st side of the argument, and then you can see a fuller picture. The only thing that troubled me the most was I didn't really find out the information concerning about that judge thing. But I just have to use a little bit of common sense, all right, which people don't do. So here's a possibility you got to let go. The possibility you got to allow is this. What if she said that publicly online? If she said that publicly online, don't you think people are going to charge her then? Here's another thing. If there were, because in her explanation of the criticism, she was saying that how Fauci and all these people, they were like all tag teaming and arming against her, which is why she had to retain the information herself. And sometimes she had to do through phone call to do the information, actually. That's how, because they weren't giving her the resources. They were locking it. They were, uh, they were taking away a lot of the resources from her. So uh, she claimed that during this time when she was being, they were trying to find charges on her, that she was doing this kind of research delving and preparation in the meantime, actually. So here's something, with all these people tagged against her, where they're going to find her guilty and then they can imprison her and stuff like that, if they had that much power to do that, don't you think that if you're in that position that you would result to no choice but to find other powerful people too to get you out of there? So that's something, that's a possibility you gotta think of. Now don't go off and shoot off your mouth like a bunch of morons that pastor condones a bribing when you go to court. No. Because I'm a Bible-believing, saved Christian, unlike, a unlike, I don't know about Mikovic, but unlike a lot of other people, me, I know where I'm going. So I don't care what the court system does. Amen. Amen. Me, I just, uh, like Iron, uh, was it Ignatius said, yeah. when the Christians tried to rescue him from prison, yeah. don't come and rescue me, because I want to die for Jesus. Yeah. Please don't, don't you dare come and rescue me. Yeah. See? So that's the Bible-believing responses concerning persecution. So you got to allow... You got to use just some common sense, see? Uh, one thing that disturbs me about people from uh, mainstream news or people who graduated from higher level education, you're only looking at that sort of perspective. But Mikovic mentions that if these people in power, and she names names, she names every specific detail and instance, if they're the ones that controls the measurements and the experiments to prove her stuff to be faulty or to twist the context, that's why you can't just result, resort to scientific journals to prove some kind of conspiracy. That ain't going to work. That ain't going to work if you have all these people in power who take care of the measurements and the experiments, especially when Mikovits, when she said that because those resources were taking, taken from her, her measurement, her tools, she had to do a lot of things by phone call. And she had to, and she, look at her slides also shows her email communication too. So give that a fair shot. Give that a fair shot.
during this timeline where we can see a lot of the, uh, that's why over here, you have to just use critical thinking, all right? And people over here, I also want to mention this too, not just the people who are just mainstream world or news or uh, mainstream schools, but people on this side too, you can't just be believing easily because the, you're giving the world an excuse when they bring up a criticism against you. You have to have an answer for that. And the Christian response, according to 1 Peter, is to give an answer. We have to give an answer. So you can't just uh, go by fleshly impulse, anger, frustration, I am too, but just because you watch the first thing or read the first thing doesn't mean you can spout it out easily. Mm -hmm. See, so you have to use critical thinking as well as open-mindedness. Okay, so with all this chaos going around our world, you know what I find interesting too? Let me just say this too. Mika, this, she mentioned that during the timeline when uh, they were like arresting her, during, uh, for a few days, that was the few days where Fauci or the other people, they had to come up with ideas and plan to sully her reputation. Now, recalling that, you know what's very interesting? As soon as this pandemic documentary was like taken down, and I told some of my members that way I can have witnesses, all right? Your pastor's not stupid, okay? So all of a sudden, something bad happened at the White House with Penn's secretary, and so Fauci and Redfield, and it's so weird, the news specifically mentioned these two guys' names, which Mikovits called out. They took a vacation. You know why they had to do that? Because we had to have a lockdown, because the White House infected. So we want to, so see, as long as you use this rationale as an excuse for peace and safety so we don't infect anybody, we're going to go to home. As long as you use this excuse, no one's going to question you. Exactly. I wonder during that timeline that they could have, uh, just like repeating back then, they, that was that time they had to sell your reputation. Yeah. That's something you have to be open-minded to. See, people who are going to be very good in argumentation and truth, you have to open up possibilities. Not just accuse me of conjectural, you know, theorist. No, what you have to do to arrive at a proper conclusion is to look at all sides and possibilities. These possibilities are just as logical, if not even more logical and rational, than an atheist who tries to bring up a possibility that Jesus was resurrected because he simply swooned on the cross and a cool breeze of the tomb opened his eyes. And those are, a sci uh, those are atheistic scientists. So, come on, man! Come on, man! I mean, uh, you accuse us of being theoretical? That's stretched beyond the imagination. But we Christians allow that possibility to come in so that we can get closer to the truth and we argue. That's how you have an open-minded, well-discussed, educated argument and discussion, okay? Now, Congress passed out a bill, which we all know. One, ooh, 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 this is not a good number, right? <laughs> so it is, uh, you can look at congress.gov. It's called COVID-19 Testing, Reaching, and contacting everyone trace act so this one what is kind of scary to me about the congress where they passed out this bill is that because of see this rationale again then you can start doing this right so then they can attack right here so then they can attack the documentary over here try to sully the reputation uh invalidate So then, with peace and safety excuse, you can make time to take a little vacation to invalidate. Right here with this rationale, you can take time and use the excuse to push this. Why? Because of peace and safety, COVID-19, we can enter inside your homes. Yeah. Wait, wait, I thought this is invasion of privacy over here. No, 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 we can go inside your homes because for the safety that other people don't get infected. Now, I would like to ask you a question. If you take a vaccine shot, then what are you worried about then? Yeah, right. So they want to force us to take vaccine shots while forcing us, to, uh, while allowing them to come inside our homes. Wow. So why? As long as we use peace. See, people aren't thinking. You know why they aren't thinking? As long as they see this. See, this is the, this is the stupid, stinking, demon-possessed media, man. I feel like ranting. Do you want me to preach another sermon on them again? Yeah. Brother Jonathan was about to throw his shoe when he was watching it the second time on the Sunday sermon, you know? Yeah. 
this, these bunch of, because you hear this every stinking day, every stinking day, that's why people, that's why you don't have to really take time to research and think about all this. See, I don't like that. That's not fair. That's not fair. So they got this bill passing out. And not only that, we heard about the Ninth Circuit, right? What they did concerning about churches. So obviously, the churches with two million churchgoers, <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot who are speaking out. They lost to the Ninth Circuit. Why? Because this is unheard of. I mean, this is constitution. I mean, I took, I mean, I took classes in law school. Constitution, you can't go above it. Even if you come up with logical, rational, legal arguments, you can, uh, when you put out constitution, yeah. no matter how smart you are as a lawyer, you can't go around that. But there is a thing which I mentioned to you a long time ago in my uh, teaching on end times and demons. There is a power that you can use called executive orders. Why? What's the rationale again? What's the rationale? Ah! If you use this as an excuse, this can override the Constitution. Now, what's amazing is this is not even federal, okay? This is not the president because the president spoke the opposite. He gave uh, what sounded like an executive order, but now I guess it's a strong recommendation they want to word that, that church is open, all right? If you don't do it, governors, then I'm going to override you, you know? Trump was like speaking out, you know? Because Trump, he just speaks out his mind, right? He just speaks out his mind. Thank God he didn't write the scriptures. If he, if he meant literally every word he said, he'd probably take it back. But you can tell what's from his heart. I can see what, he's, what he means right there. So press secretary handled it really well, you know. Yeah, she was frustrated like him, but she took care of it very well. So this is not federal executive order. We're out of state. We're out of state, a governor. That kind of executive order can go against what? The Constitution. Wow. Now, uh, Lawyers can argue back and forth and they can say, well, you know, you got to understand the context of Constitution. But I don't like that argument because that's what liberals do. Liberals, how they legalize a lot of the sin today is that they resort to what's the historical context of the Constitution or the locality of the people, the society during that time, during the Constitution. I don't like that. As long as you use context, you can twist the Constitution based on this rationale. If you do that, you can uh, justify this one. That's why, really, you know, some people think that, like Hoven, bless his heart, I know the Lord uses him, but he's into wrong doctrine. And Dr. Uckman even warned him, actually, before he went to prison. Hoven thought he got the law all set, and he can get in front of the judge and court and jury. But I read some of his arguments, and I was like, okay, I get it, what he meant. But guess what? In the eyes of the court, the context that they see is very different and they're going to laugh it off. Yeah. See, so to be quite honest, legally, you can't go against the Antichrist government. Yeah. Really, you can't. Really, you can't. But the, the Lord really protected America where the Constitution was laid out, born that way with so much value, that that's why it's taking a long time for the Antichrist to take over. Yeah. See, because the, America was born... I know there were uh, Masonic and some kind of corruption at the beginning, but it was founded on godly principles. And where God was starting something, immediately Satan will what? Follow. So that's a no-brainer. So America was founded on godly principles, and because of that, that's why we have a lot of freedom today and a lot of people who are angry about what, what's going on in our world. That's why the governor, e even though they did this, why did the governor open? I mean, I had a good feeling. I told you about, you know, wait for Monday, wait for Monday, right? You know why I said that? Because I had a good feeling that, you know, look, if you got two million people mad yeah. at California, I mean, that's a lot. Uh, the governor realized, I got to let something go. Yeah. So even though he won Saturday, Monday, he allowed people to come, see, under certain guidelines and restrictions. See why? Because of what we're born in, what we're born in, our foundation in America, and, your pa and I'm going to show it later on in history. I'm going to show it later on in history uh, class. Let's look at Revelation 13. And then uh, I'll finally shut up over here. All right? Let's, uh, <laughs> I got to jump to the second teaching, though. So, 
if I can. All right, Revelation chapter 13, <clears throat> verse 15. He had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be what? Killed. Okay, you have to accomplish killing people. 16, he causeth all. See that? It's forced. It's mandatory. Both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell. Now look at this. <clears throat> Notice verse 16, he causeth all, right? 17, no man would have access. Verse 15, anyone cause as many as would not worship to be killed. How do you do that without invading people's private space? How do you not do that unless you have Microsoft, Google, Apple, etc., where they put certain features in your phone where they can track you more to help with this COVID-19 situation? How can they fulfill this purpose if they, don't, if they don't take away more individual rights where the Constitution can be practically not really rulable if you go by the context of how the Ninth Circuit and how people view things concerning about peace and safety with executive order. See that? This is all steps and building blocks. That way the Antichrist can fulfill this at Revelation 13, 15 through 17.